On today's episode of Homeworthy, we're taking you to New York City's Soho neighborhood to visit Elizabeth Holder's incredible loft apartment filled with colorful art sourced from around the world. Elizabeth moved from France to New York 11 years ago to open up La Durée in the United States. This iconic tea room was founded in Paris in 1862 and is world famous for its macaroons, and it's now her family's business. Enjoy this sweet episode. You're watching Homeworthy, where we believe every home has a story. Like and subscribe for more. Hi, Homeworthy. I'm Elizabeth. Welcome to my Soho loft in New York. So I'm Elizabeth Holder Rubberin. Uh, I'm French, obviously. Um, I moved 11 years ago in New York to develop La Durée. La Durée is the first tea room in Paris. The brand is 160 years old. It was the first tea room in Paris. And we bought the brand like 30 years ago with my family. My brother took over and developed worldwide, except in the US. That's why I moved 11 years to develop this market, this amazing market. And uh, of course, La Durée is the creator of the macaron that I hope you know, but we also have viennoiserie, pastries, and you can go there for breakfast, lunch, tea time. It's like you travel in space, you travel in time, you, you go to Paris in the 19th century when you go at La Durée. So what I love in this apartment, it's like when you arrive, it's right in the apartment. It used to be a candy factory, so it has this industrial uh, vibe, which I like. So this is the entrance of the apartment, so you really arrive here right, right when you arrive from the elevator. So I kept the concrete uh, part of the wall and the, and, the, um, and the bricks, which is very New York actually. So I like to add some like street art piece. This artist is John Wan, he's a New Yorker, but I bought it in Paris. So it really makes the link, I think, with the, the connection with this apartment. I love collecting art. I'm really born in a family of collectors, and so I didn't call a, a designer or anyone to help me to decorate this apartment, so it's really my personality. Um, this is, I love vase. I, I not collect vase, but I could actually because I really love it. So of course the Jeff Koon, this is the kind of dog I used to love. So I have one here, I have one here, now I have a real one, of course, because I had two with the kids. But at the beginning, the, the dogs uh, was only this one. So I have pieces, I have cows with twins, because I have twins myself. Um, I have pieces of Sotsas, a Japanese designer. This is a vase also. I had some touch of colors, very bright, to bring a little bit of light and, and color. So I have the orange, and in the perspective, I have the red and the yellow. So it's really uh, just a few touches of colors like this. And I have also French designer. I don't remember the name of all of it, but this one, this is French. The rug is French. This is Bertoya. Uh, this is Newson. This is a piece I bought from Africa, the sculpture. I love the vibe and the color and the personality. I think it really brings uh, uh, something very nice in the room. I love the pink, which I have in my bedroom. I love this orange also, like very 70s. Um, I have this uh, lighting also, it's Bourlec, the French designer, uh, and I'm very happy to have it because it used to be to my friends and he bought it and he couldn't ha have it in his apartment, so I was so happy to buy it back. So I live here with my husband, my kids, uh, twins, two boys, teenagers, and my third baby, uh, Gizmo, a uh, little pug we just had one year and a half ago. I love everything. I love the space, uh, I love the location, I love that I can have some wall to hang a piece of art. Uh, we are one block from La Durée, which is almost too close, actually. <laughs> so I need to walk in the neighborhood before coming back home. If not, the, the commute is too short. Uh, no, I, I love the, no, I love really everything, the vibe, the building, our neighbors are super nice. Uh, so I'm so happy I could find an apartment like this. So now I will take you in my living room. So this is the living room, so the, the space that we can enjoy reading a book, having friends, a drink, a glass of wine, of course. So I brought the furniture from France. So this is Bertoya that I found in a flea market. These chairs come from the grandmother of my uh, husband. 
um, which is Bertoglia too, which I love. So this plant, I love it because I think it's like a sculpture. It grows super fast and my husband and my kids, they hate it. So I really have to protect it and I speak to it like, uh, be nice, grow, stay nice like this so I can keep it. But I really love it. I think it's a little bit of crazy. So this, it's uh, for my twins when they were little. Um, I used to give clothes when they are too small to a friend who has a young uh, boy also and so she offered me these two chairs, super nice for the kids. So it's a kind of uh, exchange, it's nice. So the swing is my favorite piece of the apartment. It's a Hermes swing, which I think is the chicest thing ever. It was a gift, the gift of our friend when we left Paris. I met my husband in Hermes. We used to work both there, so it's really a... Uh, important to my heart and actually just amazing it's beautiful and we use it it's really nice they're like a little bit surprised about having a swing in the loft but finally everybody loves it and the kids it's like no your hand you have chocolate on your hand don't play with it so they can play but they need to wash their hands so here it's uh, i would say the library kind of so it's all the books which i love it's mostly about art so I have the artist I like, the exhibition I went to visit, and I buy also a lot of books in museum to try to educate the kids. So like Nice Story, the first and art encyclopedia for the kids. So sometimes I like in, during the weekend to just take one, sit with the kids and try to speak with them and to share and to begin to educate them about it. I think it's really a part of my childhood. Every weekend I used to go in flea market, auctions. Uh, my dad is a collector, my brother is a collector, and it's really something I like. So when I have some time, I like to spend it in galleries, museum, and to just, I need to feed myself with sculpture. So I like to bring the kids. I try to make it short when I'm with them, so for, to be sure they stay focused. And I always try to find a game playing with them, like what is f your favorite piece, what is the one you like the less, and why, and so it makes them be interesting in it and ask questions. And when they were little, they used to draw what they could see and to, to of course, go to the store of the museum to buy something because it's like the <laughs> award at the end of the, the reward at the end of the visit. This is a piece of street art. I just found it in a um, sales at Philips last year. So it was the day, of the, bar mitzvah, the, the day after the bar mitzvah of the kids. Uh, Philips did a, a sale about uh, street art. So I bought two photos and it was my gift to the kids. And I bought this one because Print Street is right here where we live and, and are at the initials of my kids. So I think it was super nice and I think it works very well here. This is Bertoya, it's a sculpture of Bertoya, it's from the 70s. I love it, I love to touch it. <laughs> it's very, uh, very nice. And this is part of my collection of vase, so you have Memphis, you have Brenzi. This piece I just bought it this summer, I brought it in my luggage from uh, in the airplane with me. Um, from the south of France. I think it's just beautiful. So yeah, I like to mix. This is a flower, another vase, but a piece of art, so it's not a real one, of course. So I have few pieces like this I, li I like to mix. So this space, I love it because it's really like a mix between the living room and, and, and the kitchen. So we are all living in the same room, all together which I think is very nice uh, when the kids are doing their homework, we are here reading or cooking. So I think it's really great. Um, it's not too busy, I think, and don't put too many furniture. I have these beautiful uh, pictures, photos from Valérie Belin. She's French and it's really, I, I loved it. I really felt in love with this piece. It's like she's a model, but a fake one, but she's so real. You don't really know if it's a, real woman who looks fake or a fake one who looks real so it's confusing and i like it tell me what this is i'm not sure i could really talk about it um how can i say Ta girl in french means shut up so it was my birthday gift to my to my husband um, when you open the door of the elevator it's really right in front of you so when he stay longer than me in a party and he has a drink i just light off everything except this so he just have this like he knows he has to be quiet but i just thought it was funny and uh, i just did it here actually it was at the origin it was a piece of art from um, 
famous artists in France, uh, but I just did it in, uh, in Chinatown, but just don't, don't say it. <laughs> so this, it's uh, lightings from Ponton, Werner Ponton. I found it in Les Puces in Paris, uh, the flea market, the famous flea market in Paris. When I go in Paris, I always try to stay during the weekend, and of course I have to go there, just because I love it. And of course, it's time I find something. So now I have a container waiting for me in France. I need to ship it, but I don't know where to put it. But it's, it's like this, you cannot resist. Too many beautiful things. I love cactus. Um, and I'm very bad with uh, plants. So I think it's nice because you don't have anything to do. But I, yeah, I like it. I think it's, um, it's just a nice plant and uh, it grows by itself. It's independent, which is very good. <laughs> and yeah, I like it. It's like a sculpture. This piece, I just had it for my birthday, so it's not on the wall yet. It's an African artist, Tendi Yemorio, and I really felt in love with the colors and the vibe and the personality. And uh, it's beautiful, and at the same time, it's funny because she loves to play with small objects, and this one is the one you can find in the kitchen, in the sink. And it's a symbol because women in Africa, they used to meet in the kitchen and to share so many things. So it's all about the power of the women in Africa, and of course, it's also so beautiful, so I really love it. And actually, you can see that I have a lot of women because I have Valérie Belland, I have this one, I have David Lachapelle, who is a woman also. This one is about a woman who is discovering freedom and art. I have more women here. Uh, this sculpture, which I love in marble, these photos who were the gift from our wedding. So yes, it's all about women. It's not a lipstick, but it looks like it's just a plexiglass sculpture from Fari. Uh, it comes from Paris too, and I love this piece. I think it's very nice. I love the light, uh, it, the colors play with the light. And when my kids were little, they used to walk around and to hide behind and to have games. It was super nice, super cute. So the La Duet style is all about pastels and, and gold moldings and lightings, like crystal lightings and curtains, and I'm the exactly opposite. I like white, simple, uh, easy, touch of colors, but bright colors. Um, so I'm really, yes, I think the opposite of the La Duet style, actually. This book is David Ockney, so it's really beautiful. I love the large book like this that uh, Tashen does. I think it's really, really amazing. And so like sometimes I love to change and pick a new page and discover something new. So we moved in New York 11 years ago. Um, we went in November, actually 12 years ago, to visit some apartments. And I said to my broker, I want to have a New York feeling. Whatever, if it's uh, west, uh, upper west, upper east, uh, Chelsea, I don't care. But I really want to have this vibe. I had in mind downtown and Soho because I loved it, but I didn't really want to push it. And we were visiting like maybe 15 different uh, apartments in two days. And she was like, maybe I have something in Soho, but I think there is someone on it. And at the end I was like, okay, you have to show us. And I arrived just at the elevator and I knew it was the, the good one. So I fight for it. It took some, like three, four months and we finally bought it and uh, we cannot move. It's just perfect. So I'm very happy to be here. So the kitchen is really the part I redone completely when we bought the apartment. I wanted something very industrial. So this is, I think, also part of my culture and who I am. A kitchen for me, it's like inox. It's like what I have in my pastry lab. So it's very simple and professional. So I'm vegetarian, so I try to not cook so much meat and fish. Uh, but of course, for the kids, I try to do it a little bit. But so very specific one, very good one. I like seeing simple like grilled fish and vegetables, chicken and, and roasted potato, large salad. I love to play with salad, so I could have tons of recipes of salad. Uh, and I love also with all the vegetables. So little by little, I try to learn and add spices and everything and to, to play with it. On Sunday night, we have a tradition. It's pasta night. So the, not every pasta. It's like the pasta my mom used to do with cream and butter and cheese. So it's super heavy, but it's so good. And my two brothers, they do the same thing with their family. So it's really like uh, something we have in the family. We share it the Sunday, Sunday uh, menu uh, at night. What's the secret recipe? It's a lot of butter. A lot of butter, a lot of cream, a lot of cheese. <laughs> so French. <laughs> I think I have 
art everywhere, but small pieces, not a big deal, but I have my small Andy Warhol just watching me. Um, I, bu I bought this package of cereal with cows for my kids and I don't want them to touch it so they don't really understand, but I just love the packaging. Yeah, I try to play also with all the tableware. I love tableware, so I have very classical one, more fancy one. So these are my Bar Papa. Bar -ba 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 -ba. it's a cartoon for kids, a French one. It's like you translate, it's like a cotton candy. So it's a family of Bar Papa. -ba. You have the man, the dad, and all the kids. They all have different colors and different shape. They could transform themselves, and it's, it's the most famous and beautiful cartoon for kids. And I bought it from France. It's my small Bar Papa -ba -ba from Paris. It's a drink, it used to be a drink now. <laughs> Not sure you should drink it anymore, but I just like the shape and, uh, and it's cute. And twins again. I have a lot of twins in the house. I think this building at the beginning was a candy factory. And after I know uh, Gagosian used to live here, it was really um, antique dealers used to live in the, in the building. I still have a neighbor which is, who is a big collector. So it was candy factory and art collectors and now it's just us. So this is what we call in French la salle à manger, so the dining room, the way where we spend sometimes and we share meals with friends and family. So I have my kitchen very close, all my books recipes, and uh, I love to play with China and uh, c'est l'art de vivre à la française. It's really to play with the China flowers, objects and food obviously, and having a nice moment. So this piece of art, I bought it in New York, in a gallery in Chelsea. Um, I love the half empty and half full, and I think it's like a portrait of my husband and myself. I won't tell you who is who, but it's really like very our personalities. So this chair, we found it in the garage of, my, uh, of the grandmother of my, my husband, and they wanted to sweat away. And it's better, yeah, it's too bad. So of course we take it, and now it's living in New York. And he has company with a beautiful cactus, a vintage piece from the 70s. So this one, even more than the other one, I have nothing to do with it. It's just uh, my little cactus. It's with me everywhere since 20 years. So my dad is a collector. My brothers are collector. Since I'm a little girl, I used to go every weekend in flea markets or auctions or every, every weekend it was something like this. So. I don't know, it's really part of my education and it's what I like. So I I'm, don't have so much time since I'm in New York to, to continue to do it, but I really love it. And I know uh, as soon as I can, this weekend I can, I went to see all the exhibition at Christie's and Sotheby's and everything. So as soon as I can, I try to do it. Uh, and I know that one day when I have more time, I will go back to her for sure. Welcome to the bedroom. So here I have the white wall, very New York with the bricks, mixed with a, a beautiful pink, which I love. I think it's very quiet and nice to sleep in this color, which I like to mix with the orange a little bit brighter. And I kept a black color in the wall with the photos. I think it was nicer to have a dark uh, wall. So we can really see the, the pictures of the family always mixed with a small vase, few uh, things from the kids, Murakami, um, just to play with a little bit of piece of art and a few stones for the energy. So this one was a gift from my husband. We found it here in America, which I love, the amethyst. And I have a few pieces, few lion, because I'm a Leo. So I did a collection that's very tiny of, uh, of Leo. My kids offered this to me for my birthday. So it's, that's why maybe little by little it will grow. Um, but I like the small pieces. I like crystals because I think it brings energy and it's quiet, it's peaceful. So I don't really touch it like every day, but I know it's here and it makes me feel comfortable. So I think the photos is something very private. I don't like to share with everyone. So it's only about my kids and my husband. I don't have my brothers and family and parents and everyone. It just focused on the kids and when they were little because they were so cute. <laughs> So here we have what we call a maternity, and it was a gift from someone from Africa, and it's very rare to find it with twins, actually. So this one is very precious to my heart, of course, and I love this piece. Another lion, 
for my collection and uh, and a beautiful French sculpture woman again. This is a beautiful furniture from Ecole de Memphis in Italy in the 80s. I love it. It's always a mix of colors and material and it looks like a robot a little bit actually. It's like a shape with uh, arms and I, I love it. I love this piece. It's really, really a nice one. And now let's go to see the real robot. <laughs> So this is my collection of robots. I take the excuse to have kids, twins, boys, to collect robots. But I have to say that this one is for me. So I love it. I think it's nice. It's like a small piece of art. It's a mix of uh, antiques, vintage one, and uh, re-edition, and crazy one like this one I stole from my brother. He used to have it in his, on his desk. but. I'm sorry, Robert, it's for me, it's not for him. So it came in my, in my bag. I really stole it from him. So yeah, this is my collection of all my, little, um, all my little robots and the kids are not allowed to play with it. So this shelf is more about my fashion book. So in the living room, you have, you have the hard book. This is more about fashion. Um, and I, I tried to keep it small because I could become crazy with the books. So I tried to keep it like reasonable. So this space is a messy space. <laughs> this is a playroom. So this is a room for the kids. It's where we watch TV together. Uh, I try to work sometimes, but my desk is normally uh, super busy. <laughs> right now it's okay. I have this furniture. It's Scandinavian. It's like two buildings. I had it in Paris, but I bought it here because I think it's perfect for New York. So it's really uh, like a closet that I could hide the mess of the kids, all the games and everything. So I loved it. So this is uh, photos of Kate Moss, uh, Robert Watson, he's an uh, American artist and actually it broke during the moving and he just has a studio in, uh, in, in Soho. So it was perfect because we could redo it again and actually met, meet the, um, the artist. So I just find uh, it's nice to have one wall because I think when you paint the entire room, it's too busy and too dark and, and it makes the space smaller. So I like to keep it white and, and, and light, but having just one touch of color, of course I chose the red because of the painting. It has a link with the painting. Each time it brings something, but the entire room, I think it's too much for me. So actually I did the three accent walls not too long ago, just after COVID, because we all needed something new in our apartment. So I chose the orange, the pink, the yellow. Uh, actually, I have also the blue and the pink behind in the room. So yes, I add some colors. So this is really the classical box, the light durée box with our color, the green color, and our beautiful macaron that I will put on the plate. It's a china we did with a double J, and uh, I love her. She's amazing. She has a store now in Milano. So she's a um, stylist. She has a fashion brand, but she al also does a lifestyle. and. Uh, the collaboration we made together was just really, really beautiful. My favorite flavor is the rose. All the floral flavor, and this one is black currant violet. It's very, very delicate too. And the new one, the pumpkin, is a seasonal one. It's so good. So I have a friend coming for tea. So this is my art de la table. It's a mix of, of course, beautiful china, and it's a collaboration we made with Double J and La Durée, the La Durée Macaron. Also, in addition, we have the viennoiserie and the financier. And I love to mix uh, with this bread, which actually is a candle. And the cauliflower also is a candle with real vegetables and flowers. So my art de la table is a mix between a beautiful object and funny and silly ones. But I love to have this kind of, of mix together. Please join me for a cup of tea and some macarons. So home for me is really where you are enjoying time, uh, quality time with your family and your friend, when you can invite everyone to enjoy and to share a good meal, when you have time to cook uh, and you can see the kitchen is in the living room. So it's really all mixed together and uh, just, yes, spending some quality time and enjoying yourself and your friends and, and your family. Thanks for watching. For more homeworthy content, be sure to like and subscribe.